All right, so the split squat. Some uh, at the at the clinic was seeing a lot of this going on, and what we want to do is make sure that when we're coming down, we're folding at this lead leg hip. Okay, and so what we're seeing is is the the knee pushing forward as we come down. And so we're not folding right here. Now what's what's happening, I've seen a couple of people in the facility, and I saw this with some of the people in the clinic, compensate for that by stepping back further. Okay, so they step back to here. And now they do the same thing. So now it looks like their knee is over their ankle. But if you look back here, look how it looks like they're in a hip flexor stretch, okay? So they need to be in this position. You're basically looking for your heel to be under your knee, you know, maybe your knee pushed a little in front, and for this knee to be under this hip in the bottom position. So if they're not in that position at the bottom watching those two things, then we're no good. You see, if I step further back, what it comes from is I'm not letting this back leg relax. I'm keeping this leg really stiff. And so as I come forward, and then finally when I run out of room, it bends. And then what I'm doing is straightening this leg out to drive me up, and then I'm coming back up to the top. So, you know, if someone gets up to that top position and that lead leg isn't locked out, but that rear leg is, that's a pretty sure indicator that they're driving this movement from their trail leg and not, uh, you know, driving it from the front leg there. So just watch those two things. It's not only knee over foot, it's also knee under hip. And so if they have their knee over their foot, but their knee on the back leg is pushed behind the hip and they're in a hip flexor stretch, then they need to shorten their stance and work more on getting that fold there at the hip there. So, um, so that's basically it. So I'm keeping an eye out for